Hello Aquarius, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius? You're leaving two people in the past. Some of you guys are. And you're headed towards a new partnership here. Presently, you have someone wanting to take action towards you. I don't know why. Like, I just saw um, the Knight of Cups. I swear he's been wanting to pop up. But, and the thing is, the Knight... The night is about movement here. So this is an action card. So it's like someone finally taking action. The reason why this person is taking action is because they, they're realizing that you have fallen out of love with them. You know what's funny? It's like in the past, this person, they either could have used you as like clingy being needy in some way, they took your love for granted. Now they're missing it. Because they they try to like play that on you, like that role on you, like you're clingy, you're needy. But then you switched it up on them and then they like, oh shoot. You, you ain't showing them no affection now. So now they're forced to take action towards you because they were expecting you to reach out to them or to go out your way for them like you used to in the past. But now you're like, you're not tripping off of them at all. You're focused on something new coming in. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups, you're focused on something new coming in. And the thing is, is that you realize like what true love is. After dealing with this situation, you realize what true love is. You're not confused about it anymore. You realize what you deserve. And you're not entertaining like any nonsense here. So that's why you're leaving some connections here in the past and moving towards something completely new that's going to give you the love that you deserve. This person is not going to turn in their favor. They're traveling towards you. But when they come towards you, it's like you're so happy here in your own energy. And they're just like observing you from afar, whether they're spying on you through social media or you guys live close to each other here. Some of you guys are at a distance from this person, but it's definitely a lot of action here. They're seeing you take action towards what makes you happy, what you deserve. And that's what's also calling in like this twin flame energy, this soulmate energy. But it's also attracting this past love here. Because they're realizing that they're losing you and they're also realizing what they missed out on and what they're about to officially lose for good here. They don't realize like they really already lost you. You're tired of these draining 
relationships. Like you're tired of like giving so much of yourself and then questioning like the love. With the three of cups and the four of wands, you've been in like connections where they either did things to intentionally make you jealous. Some of you guys, you could have been involved in third parties, but I'm getting more of a sense of you dealing with connections where the other person intentionally did things to make you jealous, meaning like they would intentionally flirt with someone on social media to make you feel insecure about yourself. They would intentionally, like if you guys were out, like they would intentionally, you know, look at someone like, oh, you know, like they look good. Wow, you're right there. And all of this was to make you feel insecure about yourself. With the Four of Wands in reverse, that's it. It's like, because the Four of Wands is a car of someone making you feel unwelcomed, unloved, a lack of stability and security as well. Because if someone is doing that in your face, it doesn't make you feel secure about the relationship. It doesn't make you feel like you can trust them. And it damn sure doesn't make you feel like you can have a stable connection with them. But there's someone coming towards you that you can. There's someone that's very mature, that's grounded. They're very successful as well. Someone who finds you very charming and amusing as well. There's something about you that's kind of like a little quirky to this person. Um, like you're not like the rest. Like you're, they know that there's something different about you. And this person's going to want to get to know more about you. Like they may like quietly observe you for some time. Cause some of you guys may meet this person like in the work setting, but they come off as like more of a quiet, um, individual. So like their presence This person has like a very dominant presence, but is sort of reserved and gentle, but it's very dominant here. They don't feel the need to impress or approve themselves because they're very, this person is very like structured and grounded. Like they don't have anything to prove. They're wise. This is someone that's going to realize what they have while they have it. So they realize your value when they meet you. They're going to realize your worth. This isn't someone that's going to reject your love and then later on, oh no, 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 Aquarius is actually... I should have chose Aquarius. They're, that's not this person. This person is going to realize what they have the instant that they meet you. Yeah. This person will have good intentions towards you as well. And I'm getting that they're going to like constantly surprise you. Like it's going to be, how can I explain it? It's just really, it's because it's so new to you, it's just going to be a surprise, the type of energy that this person gives to you. The energy that they have here. Because this person, they're not, it's like the opportunities that they have to establish this connection, they're gonna take it. They're gonna take those opportunities. They're not going to let those opportunities pass them by. They're going to seize those opportunities, okay?
I don't know. What am I doing with this? Some of y'all is maybe making a trip to California soon where you are in color. I'm getting some of y'all as well because it's like, I'm saying like the Hollywood sign. Are some of y'all like pursuing like acting or something? I don't know why I was getting like, are they going to try to like remake the Titanic? I couldn't imagine them like trying to do it because I just feel like that movie was like already. I, I think it, I think it's like a classic, you know, I couldn't imagine them trying to remake that movie. going to leave that right there for a second because we're going to dive here first. Self-esteem. In the past, who you are dealing with tries to make you doubt yourself to lower your self-esteem. They didn't try. Some of you guys this person, they accomplished what they set out to do. Because they lowered your self-esteem. They made you doubt yourself. This person was like absorbing your energy, feeding off of your energy. But now you guys are standing in your truth. You're seeing the truth of the situation. Because there's light being shed upon the situation here where you can honestly see things for what they are. And that's why your happiness is being restored. Your self-worth is being restored and you are no longer doubting yourself because you realize your full potential here and you realize how someone was like blocking you from seeing it. And it all started with this person like trying to make you feel insecure about yourself whatever way they were doing it, whether they were saying things to make you feel insecure about your body, whether they were flirting with other people in your face to make you feel like you weren't handsome enough, you weren't beautiful enough, whatever way it was, someone was trying to make you feel insecure about yourself, to make you doubt yourself. But now that that blockage that they were trying to create, you broke it down. Because you did the work, like you did some self-healing here. And this person, like, they don't phase you anymore. Like they're a non-factor in your life here. A non-motherfucking factor. Like, you are not tripping off this person at all. Your happiness is everything. And this person is just a miserable soul who tries to feed off of others. Is that little Wayne like I'm getting? Fuck bitches, get money. Fuck bitches, get. So some of y'all are in that energy where you like, 
Fuck them. You you are focused on your money at this time. Whether you're male or female, because y'all know females be quick to call some dudes out here or some bitch. <laughs> So some of y'all are out here like you are focused on your money. You are not tripping off of nobody right now. Like that's your attitude. <laughs> like that just came out of nowhere. Is that Lil Wayne? And Capricorn had this suit being released from some sort of attachment here. You set yourself free from some sort of attachment. Someone didn't realize how strongly protected you were. But I'm getting also, some of y'all could have been dealing with someone whose name was Michael. Or some of y'all's your name is Michael. You definitely are being highly protected. That's one thing you need to know for sure. But I'm going to tell you what, like when you initially met this person, they were not the way that they turned out to be. When you initially met this person, they came in like a, they came in like they were some sort of angel. They were this protective person like they came in like the perfect person and then the next thing you know your world was turned upside down and you didn't know how you were going to get out of this but finally you have been set free because it's like this person, they are the master of disguise. But little did they know the protection that you had over your life. See, it was just a lesson for you to learn because some of you guys were being disobedient because you were given the signs to stay away from this person. But you went, you went in anyway. And it's okay. It's a lesson. It was just a lesson. You take it as a lesson learned. You don't beat yourself up about it. Because you're coming out stronger. And you know what? You're going to be able to help guide other people through stuff like this as well. Because you, you're not the only person. You won't be the last person, unfortunately, that deal with someone like this. So I'm going to leave it there. That's what some of y'all need to realize is that some of y'all, what you went through, like what they say, your test will turn into your testimony, but it's more than that. It's like you literally become like that guiding light for others because you made it out. And there are some people that are stuck in that situation. And once you really realize that, like, imagine yourself still being in that situation. And there are some people still in that situation. And they need that guide and light. They need someone to say, because there are some people that will be like, shoot, forget them. They stupid enough to be with the person. Forget them. But they don't understand, you know, how that situation goes when they initially met that person they weren't like that they weren't like that at all and then next thing you know their entire world is being turned around you understand it's not for no reason so i'm going to leave it there these are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. 
Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.